Hello students, today we'll be learning lesson 6 from the science textbook for standard 6. Substances in daily use. So come along then, let's read and understand the lesson. This is part 2. For a complete lesson, do watch part 1, 2 and 3. You'll get the link in the description box below. This video was made just for you. Do remember to like, share and subscribe. Let's learn about production of substances. That is, how some of the substances are produced. So, let's look at rubber first. Rubber is of two types, natural and artificial. So, natural rubber is obtained from the gum or sap of trees that is the juice of the trees and this sap is called latex so if you look at the picture over here given below you can see that the juice from this tree is collected in a container and it is white in color so this is the natural rubber and it is called latex the rubber has a peculiar odor Odor. So, peculiar means a very uh, different kind of, you know, which is, uh, we can say, for rubber only. So, it has a different odor. Odor is smell and it is white in color. So, that is what is about natural rubber. Now, how is natural rubber changed into artificial? We have seen that we use various products made out of rubber. There is this eraser over here. Then we have the ball. We have a toy that is this ducky. And then it is also used to make tires for our vehicles. So that process of changing natural rubber to artificial rubber is called vulcanization of rubber. Okay, so let's understand this process. In this process, rubber is heated with sulfur for 3 to 4 hours. Okay, so sulfur is added to this rubber solution. That See, if you look at the rubber solution, it is like liquid. Okay, but all these materials are hard, isn't it? They are not liquid, they are solid. So, in order to make them hard, that is a liquid to change into solid, it is the rubber solution is mixed with sulfur for and it is heated for 3 to 4 hours. To give hardness to the rubber, sulfur is mixed in it. So, why sulfur used? To make the rubber, that soft rubber, the liquid rubber into a hard substance. The proportion of sulfur that is how much sulfur to be added in the mixture is determined that is it depends by the purpose for which the rubber will be used. So, for what purpose we want it whether we want it to make a soft toy or we want it to make it uh, into a hard uh, tires. So, for what purpose accordingly sulfur is added. So, erasers, rubber balls, rubber toys all have varying proportions that is different proportions of sulfur in them in rubber bands you have used rubber bands isn't it so rubber bands the proportion of sulfur is very small so therefore we can stretch it we can make it as big as we want rubbers you have used rubber bands isn't it we can pull it and we can stretch it so that is how uh, the vulcanization of rubber happens Let's learn about how this process was first discovered. In the past, Charles Goodyear spilled, that is dropped, spilled a mixture of rubber and sulfur on a burning stove. Okay, so by mistake, when he was mixing rubber and sulfur, some of it fell on a burning stove, that is heat. So it got heated up. After the stove was extinguished, that is, it was put off, the fire was put off. He noticed that the rubber had become harder and less elastic. So, he couldn't pull it. It had become into a hard substance. That is what he noticed. That is the scientist Charles Goodyear. Then, what he did is, he repeated this experiment in a systematic way. That is, he went on adding little, 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 little sulfur to it. And he was checking and he researched on it. He noted down his findings and invented the process of vulcanization. That is changing the soft rubber to hard rubber. Hard and tough tires 
of rubber made henceforth brought about a revolutionary change in transportation so revolutionary means they brought about a great change in transportation that is first you know they may be using bullock carts or uh, you know wheels which were not uh, you know uh, made of rubber so later on they said that we can make rubber tires we can make it as hard as possible so that is how a great change came in the making the tire let's learn this little information about rubber rubber is a natural substance obtained by collecting the latex of a certain tree latex is the juice that is the sap that comes out of this tree so that is the rubber trees are found in abundance lots of them in brazil later these trees were planted in other countries too the botan bo botanical name of this tree is hevia brasilensis okay so brasilensis so this is the name that is the scientific name for this and in india the maximum protect production of rubber is in kerala so the state of kerala we have lot of rubber trees there now let's look at this manufacturing of paper so this is a graphical representation given of the process of manufacturing paper first we have the trees which are cut down and the logs of wood that is the pieces of wood are first process that is the outer bark that is the skin of that uh, wood is peeled off peeling the logs that is debarking the logs barking over here means the outer layer of the tree trunk is called a bark so that is removed then it is chopped then it is made into fine particles then some water chemicals dyes dyes are colors and all that is added and it is made into a pulp pulp means like a dough like okay dough like substance is made and then this pulp is pressed very be very hard okay pressing the pulp with rollers and it is made into thin sheets like that so big sheets are made okay and they are collected into reels they are called reels round okay so round sheets are made of these so this is how paper is made and then paper is for the process for various purposes whether you want it for books whether you want it for other other purposes to be used isn't it papers are available of different kinds different textures different colors for different purposes we use paper so accordingly then paper is made we just saw the graphical presentation of how paper is made now let's read about it paper paper is the substance or material formed due to the intertwining of cellulose fibers in grass wood rags rags are pieces of cloth or waste paper thus paper is a kind of network of cellulose fiber cellulose is the material that is available in plants and trees so intertwining that is they form a network of this so that is how paper is made so let's read the process how is paper made coniferous trees like pine are used to make paper okay uh, so these special kind of coniferous trees those are the pine trees are used to make paper the bark of the logs that is when they are cut into pieces of wood logs logs of the tree the outer layer of the tree bark that is that is called the bark is taken out so the bark of the logs of these trees is first removed and wood is broken into smaller pieces the mixture of these pieces and some chemicals is kept soaking for a long time that is pieces and chemicals they are kept together so that the pieces can absorb the chemicals they can take the chemicals so that is called soaking for a long time it helps to form a pulp pulp means it helps to form a mixture like thing okay it becomes like a dough when chemi when the chemical process is completed the fibrous substances from wood pulp are separated and some dyes are added so um, fibers all the fibers and unwanted things are removed out and dyes are added that is color is added the pulp is then passed through rollers 
dried to form paper and finally wound on reels so they this pulp that pulp that is the dough like thing is passed through rollers we saw it in the graphical representation and dried to form paper so these are dried and the paper is formed and once the paper is uh, made these are finally wound on reels that is they are collected okay on round materials okay so round round they are made so that is called reels paper and wood are closely related isn't it we make paper from wood we have seen that the coniferous trees are cut down to save trees it is necessary to use paper sparingly sparingly means in a proper manner only when we require it in a proper manner without wasting paper so we should see that we do not in any way misuse paper or um, do not use it properly so we should use the paper in a proper manner as well as use the maximum make the maximum use of paper without without wasting it do you know in india the first factory to manufacture newsprint that is paper to be used for newspapers that paper that we use as newspaper is called newsprint was established at nepanagar in madhya pradesh in 1955 so the first paper making um, you know factory was started in madhya pradesh in 1955 paper is also manufactured at songar in gujarat in maharashtra there is a paper factory at balarpur near chandrapur always remember students that is do not tear up blank pages of your notebook so unnecessarily blank pages for anything for rough things and all that don't use blank papers so that is do not waste your blank papers do not throw away old notebooks with the blank pages so whenever at the end of an academic year when you have to discard your books see that you tear off the blank sheets and use it for something you know for so many things you require to make your rough work to make certain things or you can wrap certain things with it so do not throw away the blank pages the second is the blank sides of advertising pamphlets inner side of postal en envelope the blank sides of all calendar pages and other such writable service sur surfaces can be used to make notes list to a uh, list to cover books etc so advertising pamphlets means any advertising material no we get so many things that is dropped in our house or comes with the newspaper so those are the advertisements that come papers with advertisement those are called pa advertising pamphlets so sometimes one side is printed the other side is blank so we can use that then we can also use make use of inner side of the postal envelopes so so many envelopes come no for us we can use the envelopes for other purposes or we can open up the envelope and write it on the inner side because that is plain so also we can use blank sides of calendar pages sometimes the calendars are printed only on one side so the other side we could make use for writing any rough work anything that we need to jot down so we can use make use of it in a very uh, beautiful manner and other such write writable services surfaces can be used to make notes list to cover our books hmm. so do not throw away or burn up such paper until it has been fully utilized like this so don't throw away or burn away okay so you make use of the good use the best use you that you can do of the paper that it comes to your homes whenever possible try to use a pencil or slate so as far as possible to write down anything use a pencil because if you make a mistake you can erase it but with a pen if you write and you make a mistake you have to cancel it and write it further so that is a waste of paper so when you use a pencil you can erase it as well as when we use a slate okay the slate and chalk that we get as small children you must have written on it so those slate we can use it to jot down certain things as we can wipe and reuse then cooperate with people who collect paper from garbage or buy scrap 
paper. So you have to see that those who collect, you know, there are people who collect garbage and separate it, segregate it, and they may get earn some money from it. So you also can separate this, uh, you know, that uh, rough paper from your home. Just don't discard it in the garbage bin, and you can give it to these people who can sell it to the raddiwala and earn some money. these people help in proper recycling of resources so they then give this paper the raddi wala then gives the paper to various recycling units that is to make paper once again so this paper again it is cleaned and make it into pulp and you can make new type of paper from the used paper now here is a small activity for you to do find out where was the process of making paper invented so think about it find out from the internet what kind of paper is used for making our textbooks so how do we get what kind of paper is used paper is i told you papers are of various kinds and there are various ways of making paper now so what size is it are these different sizes for different types of paper how is paper for currency that is currency notes that is our money paper money how is the paper for currency note manufactured so try to get some more information and note it down in your notebook do solve the exercise that is given to you at the end of the lesson and to check your answers you can visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below Do remember to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye.